YouTube, I am NintendoMan64, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got our 8th gym badge from Giovanni in Viridian City, and have accessed our ability to go towards the Pokemon League. In this episode, instead of going to the Pokemon League, we are going to be tracking down a few very interesting items and a few very interesting Pokemon. We are here at the mysterious place known as... The Seafoam Islands, because it is rumored that a legendary Pokemon may be waiting in its wings. No pun intended. Seafoam Islands is basically just another giant cave maze like rock tunnel, only this time it's a strength puzzle. So if you guys just love strength puzzles, you're gonna love this place. If you don't, well, you're gonna hate this place. But there's nothing to, it's nothing to be ashamed of, mind you. Strength puzzles aren't for everybody. In fact, Gen 3 kind of went overboard on the whole strength puzzle thing. What you have to do basically with these strength puzzles is simple. Just knock the, knock the boulders down in the correct area, and once you do that, you'll be golden. Now we somehow have... No, I'm... Ah, screw it. We may as well see what kind of Pokemon we can encounter here, and it's a Golbat. Hey, Faye, with the Golbats. Alright, come on, Luna. Show them exactly what we're made of. And that is phenomenal. Luna, you amazing POS. No, you're not a POS. You're the farthest thing from a POS. Ooh, a Slowpoke. Too bad we own one. I bought, I bought it. I caught it off screen. There's literally no reason for me to show it because I don't intend on using it. If I intended on using it, I would have, well, used it. Instead of using uh, Yoshi. And I would have came here sooner. Or do what I did the last time and caught it in the Safari Zone. Oh my god. Ermagerd with the slow pokes. With the slow pokes, guys. With the slow pokes. Now, I'm not going to be sure how long these next three episodes are going to be. Because I, unlike when I played Fire Red, I am splitting up this uh, side quest episode into three pieces instead of doing it all in once. Because there are a bunch of trainers in one particular area that could make it tedious. Not incredibly tedious, mind you, but could probably make it annoying enough to the point where you're like... Uh, I don't want to watch this, uh, but, uh, and man, is this guy kind of being a total buzzkill. Hell, I, I doubt you guys even want to see this. Well, that rock falls to its death. Let's put out a rappel and see where we go from here. Okay. Well, there's an item there. Oh, there's an item here, too. Ooh, a revive. Those are always useful. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a never melt ice here. That's a big pearl, but that's definitely more useful than never melt ice for me. Unless I want to give the never melt ice to, uh... Actually, no, wait. The never melt ice, I think, is in, um... A later area. So, Michael is unfortunately incorrect. There's nothing to be ashamed of, it's just, you know. I, I know you guys expected more of me. Alright, that's still, a, that's still a strength puzzle that you have to figure out. Let's deal with this one first. Why are we dealing with this one first? Well, because... I don't want to be the guy that spoils it, mind you. But oh my god, it's a seal! Oh, you derpy son of a bitch! I want you to live, so I'm just gonna fillet you a bit. Oh, that did nothing. Luna, what the fuck, girl? Problem is, I can't use return, because that's gonna be an insta kill. I can't use shockwave, because that's likely gonna be an insta kill. So, really, my best bet at this is just flamethrower. I 
do have a special place for my heart and my heart for Seal. But it, and it, but it doesn't have the kind of story that, like, say, Kingdom Hearts does. When I played uh, Pokemon XD for the first time, I wanted to use a team different from what Chugga had used. Now, I played Pokemon Coliseum. I'd never played XD. So, I wanted to use a different team than what he'd used. And I know it's kind of cheap, but he used a Spiel. I used Seal. I know it's not that, uh, special or original, but, hey, Seal is still, Seal is still a awesome water type Pokemon, damn it, I botched it, I botched it, at least they're nice enough to leave us up, wait, go back, thank you, at least they're nice enough to leave, Oh, with the heartless, the heartless. Wow, 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 wow. I'm in. I am not in the the Pokemon funk right now. I am in the Kingdom Hearts mood right now. Now I don't even have to record that yet because I have great hindsight. All right, return. Yep, I knew that was gonna be an insta kill. Next time we see a seal, I should check if Shockwave would be an insta kill. Alright, let's see. Alright, we gotta move that boulder. Alright, return, return, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ermagerd. Thank you, Luna. Once again, prove to everybody how awesome you are. Where are my fresh waters? Where are my fresh? Oh, there they are. I was like, where are my fresh waters at? I got plenty of those. I know, I technically didn't need to use it there, but you know what? I like Luna. I'll make sure she's always healthy. Cause she's my good girl. And with that, now we can surf freely down here. And notice this sh particularly strange looking thing that's down here. What say you, what say you guys, we investigate this. First, what you want to do with any legendary Pokemon is save right beforehand. Regardless of what you're using, an emulator or, or just the game itself or you're playing on your computer or anything or on your cell phone, make sure you save before any legendary Pokemon. But to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save over the two files that I have. So just in case, which ones are they? Just to be sure. All right, F1 and F2. Okay, good. Okay, just in case I have trouble catching this Pokemon, which there, that's, always a, that's always a distinct possibility. Uh, I won't have to worry too much. Now, unfortunately, Ice is the one and only type in my that my team is pretty damn weak to, all things considered. The three types that, are, that Ice is strong against, you know, grass, flying, and ground, make up half my team. So, in essence, I'm kind of screwed in that department. However, I can... Make this a little bit more challenging on said Pokemon. By flinging in Yoshi. And with that in mind, let's begin. This is the mighty Articuno! Articuno is an ice flying type legendary Pokemon. Incredibly powerful, it's best stat is special attack obviously you have to take advantage of it being an ice type wielder for the most part articuno is a pretty decent pokemon i like to use articuno more than any of the other legendary birds mostly because my favorite leaf green team used to wield only Artic as articuno as a major force in it but after i decided and learned how to make better teams articuno sort of became unimportant and with that said now we have a really good 
team here, and hopefully I'll be able to catch Articuno without having to worry. Ah. I got confused right now. So now let's start whaling some ice beams with it. I'm not sure if you can freeze Articuno. I doubt you can. But that's why I'm doing ice beam. Hopefully I'll do some damage, not a lot. Ah, oh, perfect. I wanted to do little nubs of damage instead of... Instead of doing like a ton of damage, I'd rather do little nubs, if you will. And then one more should do it, and then we'll start lobbing Ultra Balls at it. Now, Ice Beams are going to do nothing against Yoshi. Yoshi resists that by like a long shot, so even if Articuno had a crap ton of it, it wouldn't be able to uh, do much. Okay. So, I'm going to start by lobbing a few Ultra Balls at it. If those fail, then I'm going to bring out Bulba Butt and have him use Sleep Powder on this thing. So I believe Articuno's only attacking move is Ice Beam. I believe his moves are Mind Reader, Mist, Ice Beam, and... Actually, I'm not sure what the fourth move is. Maybe Agility. We'll have to figure it out. Alright, this thing's clearly not cooperating. I'm afraid to use Ice Beam, though, because... As you guys can see, remember, Bulba Butt is weak to it. Let's see. I'm confident in my ability to catch legendary Pokemon. Alright. Alright, let's do this. I may, I may be risking it, but Bulbabutt has gone up a considerable amount of levels from all the training we've done. I think he'll be able to withstand an Ice Beam or two. He's not faster than Articuno, even without, even without that agility. Uh, why is it using Mind Reader twice? It was guaranteed to get a hit on anything, and Ice Beam already has 100% accuracy. So technically, I don't understand the point of having 100% accuracy with one move and then use Mind Reader. I don't understand what's the point of having Mind Reader on it, but... Okay, apparently Articuno does not, does not want to get caught. See, this is why I decided to split it into three parts. You never know with some of these Pokemon. Oh boy. Mist is basically like safeguard, so you can't. Oh no, wait. You can't look. You can't change stats on it. At least I believe you can. So it's sort of like a guard spec, basically. Why is this thing not using Ice Beam? I would like to know. Now, I'm not. I will not use the Master Ball on Articuno. If you use the Master Ball on a legendary bird. Granted, it's not the end of the world, because it is possible to catch other legendaries without the need for the Master Ball, but it's a whole lot easier if you save the Master Ball for a, for a Pokemon later down the road. And it may not even be the Pokemon you're thinking of, because I am absolutely shocked. Um, the same time that I've been doing this Let's Play, Team Four Star is doing a Nuzlocke of Pokemon uh, Leaf Green. And they were, they were talking about what they would do with the Pokemon they could catch with the Master Ball. And one of them suggested catching just one of the legendary birds. And then they're like, no, you have to save it for Mewtwo. Everyone always uses it for Mewtwo. I can't believe certain people forgot that there is another legendary Pokemon you can catch in that game without all the special contests and stuff. I'm actually really surprised. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth on what that Pokemon is, in case you guys don't know, and if you guys really have the need to know, check out my Pokemon Fire Red videos, because I do go over it in there, and Articuno got caught! Okay, not bad. Took a little time, but that's okay with me. Alright, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. The question is, does Articuno take care of them, or does Articuno kill them? One will never know. Okay. Now, I, there may be some more items down here, so... If you'll permit me, I want to go take a further look. Damn it. Damn it, Golbat. Damn it. You ruined my plans. Okay. And once again. Uh... 
Not super repels. We do have a few of those, too. Alright. Alright, where would this lead? Oh! Means we could transfer through here. Oh, that's nice. For a big steaming pile of nothing! Thank you. Unless I picked up the item here already, then I'd feel really stupid. But that's not possible. There's no way I could have. So either way, that was a big, gigantic waste of my time. Thank you. Thank you, Seafoam Islands, for wasting my time. Now, in case you're wondering, I fought all those trainers in the uh, out area already off screen. So you don't have to wonder if I was going to show them because... Most of them are irrelevant trainers anyway, who basically just have goldines and horsies, and we've seen plenty of those. Okay! Articuno has been caught! That is a pretty good thing. Uh, next time in Pokemon Leaf Green, join us when we go to catch the next Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, at another place we haven't explored yet, the Power Plant! I'll see you guys there! Saya freaking Nara!